Hey everybody, 2021 Kia Telluride EX trim. I love this car. It's beautiful. Seriously though, it's probably one of the absolute nicest vehicles I've ever owned. But it has a flaw. What you might call a fatal funnel. In close quarter combat terms, that's the doorway you get stacked up when you're going in and that's where problems happen. Right down here are the fatal funnels and I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a minute. So right down here is where the problem is. This vent here and the ones on the bottom. So because this is an EX trim, it does not have the fog light there. Okay. And I will show you the problem being that it goes right into the radiator and the AC condensers. There's lots of knowledge online that one rock gets through there. You're getting a new radiator or a new AC condenser. You're looking at somewhere between eleven and eighteen eighteen hundred dollars fix. And of course, because that's damage, it's not under warranty. But there is a fix out there. Some people can do it at home. Um, on a Facebook group, I found a guy. Uh, volt shop and I'll put his uh, information up here and he makes an easy kit to put on here and that's what we're gonna do today so this kit comes with three parts basically a screen and it's a wire mesh with a rubbery seal around it two of those and it comes in a box that's a little bit curved but it straightens out easy and then a big long one for that top piece. And it simply adheres with zip ties around the little posts that are already in there. And it includes plenty of zip ties. Gives pretty good instructions. Shows you where to put the zip ties, how to put them on. And uh, let's get busy. All right, so you got your zip ties, you got your little pliers for snipping off the end of the zip tie. Like I said, these straighten out real easy. There you go. One goes there. One goes there. And the big long one goes here. And you can see this little curve here, he's even got it shaped to fit that curve, which is nice. Now, you can get, if you want, you can get longer versions of these that come all the way out to there for aesthetics, because again, that's solid. That's where a, a fog light would be on the higher trim models. It does cost a little extra if you get that longer piece down there. But uh, I man, this is on the bottom of the front of my car. I wasn't re really worried about aesthetics at that point. I'll just get these straightened out. And you can see it's going to fit right in there. We just take our zip ties, getting the zip tie through, feeding it back out, and then tightening it up. Of course, he uh, recommends, understandably, that you don't uh, tighten it, any of them up until you've got all of them in and through. So we'll monkey around with that and see how it goes. So there's one screen. <clears throat> now I just put them through, wrapped it around the little post in there, and just fed it back. And it's actually a great advantage that these are flexible, because you can get these in, <clears throat> and they're not hooked up yet. And then you can kind of bend this out a little bit. And then you can kind of bend this out a little bit to get that last one. So basically what I did was uh, you went through, put it through, reach back in there behind, put it through and over, and bring it out a similar hole and just snug it up. And there's a good shot again of, of the, the danger of why you would want to do this. So I'm going to get these two bottom ones on and we'll take a look. Okay, so there's the bottom ones. You have two in the middle, one on each end, 
doing the middle one on each end. I haven't clipped them off yet. Um, it's really quite easy. I just started on the one end, fit it through, reached in, pulled it out, fit it through the hole, and pulled it, you know, through the hole all the way, and it pretty much stayed and kind of teased these two the same way. And you could bend this out to get that last one. So um, them being flexible, it is a thin metal mesh. It's a nice rubber coating, but being flexible made this really actually very easy. And uh, I'll just snip those off, and I'll do the top one. So I just drove about an hour. We've had the Cicada Brood X eruption here in southwestern Ohio. I just did an hour drive to uh, go camping. And uh, these screens by Bolt Shelf, you can see why I think they're important. Now, I know those are just bugs, but... Uh, those would all be on my radiator, and if those were rocks, they'd have gone straight in. So, again, check out Volt Shop. I'll put the link on here. I am in no way affiliated. I paid for this and uh, quite happy with it. And uh, if you're a Kia Telluride owner, you might want to consider that. Spend, I don't know, 70 75 bucks, whatever it was, and save yourself 1800 down the road. All right, so there we go. From a distance, not really noticeable. And close up. That's what it looks like. And trust me, guys, I have several skill sets. None of those skill sets is being handy. So if I could do this, anybody can do it. And the beauty is, you can always take it off. So uh, please check out Volt Shop. I'll leave a link in the description below. And uh, I'm quite pleased with these. And hopefully, uh, I won't be getting any uh, 11 to $1,800 repair bills that I could have avoided by doing something this simple. Thanks. As always, like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you around.